Hey Bladrin, welcome back to a new Landing Quick Repairs episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to bypass the Samsung Knox protection or the Samsung MDM lock on your Samsung device so you can bypass it and get into the home screen and start using your device. Now, um, I'm just going to be showing you this on my Samsung Galaxy Tab Active Pro as you can see and it says secured by Samsung Knox. Knox just in general is just a protection thing on your tablet. Think of it as um, Apple's iCloud where it's server side but this is hardware side so it's actually like a little fuse in the system on the motherboard and Samsung Knox can actually be a big issue to some people because when uh, work organizations give mobile handsets to their employees uh, if they're using Samsung phones, they uh, secure it with Samsung Knox by putting their organizational stuff on there, customizing the phone. Think of it as a BlackBerry Enterprise server. They uh, customize a handset and limit it down so uh, employees can't go on certain functions. They're limited to what they're using and it only works for their workspace. So that's basically what Samsung Knox can also do. But there's some people that don't remove their Samsung Knox, their MDM uh, work organization account. So it's locked. And when you try to reset it, it doesn't let you through. So if I uh, put this into landscape mode, if it lets me, yes it will. Let's go and start, I'll show you. Uh, whoops, no. If I agree to that. Next, there we are. This is what will come up. This tablet is protected by a Knox cloud service to continue set up, connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network, right? And uh, you can't press skip. The option is there, but that will come up at the bottom. So this is where we use our computer. You need to have a computer for this. You need to have the uh, USB cable. So this tablet uses a USB-C cable, so you need to have one of those. Um, but this works on majority of Samsung phones. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just switch over to my uh, old Sony Handycam camera just so I can show my MacBook that's off to the side right here. And then I can get started with the process of bypassing MDM. All right, we're on the MacBook now, and I just wanted to say one thing. If you're doing this to a computer that you haven't done an MDM bypass on, which is most likely the case, you're going to have to download a few things, right? And all of these will be linked in the description below. There's no adware, there's nothing like that with, you know, when you redirect to AdFly and stuff like that. There's nothing like that, it's all official. So the first thing you need to do is download the Samsung Android USB driver. So this is what's going to work with your actual device that you're trying to bypass itself. You can always download and install these from the actual device itself. So when you plug in your device into the computer for the first time, it automatically installs, but sometimes it does fail. So if you just go onto Samsung's website directly and download it straight away, it eliminates all those failing issues. And the next thing you want to download is a Sam FW FRP Tool 3.2. At the time of recording, it is the 9th of October, and this FRP tool was released a week ago, um, or this version 3.2 was released a week ago, so it is basically up to date. You can read their change list and all that kind of stuff about the patches and all that but we just want to go straight into the download and so you can use any of these websites right here it doesn't really matter but you just want to get it downloaded and there's no viruses or nothing it's all been tested so the next thing you want to do is once you've installed the USB drivers and once you've got the FRP tool downloaded plug in your actual device to the computer right here so I've got my Samsung Galaxy Tab Active Pro right here there we are, you heard the sound. And if it ever comes up with this slow charging thing, just hit OK. Um, I'm just gonna go, just go all the way back to the start on this as well. Autoplay will come up. If it doesn't come up, then basically it's gonna come up with the installing device drivers. So that's fine. And I've already done this before, so that's why it's come up with autoplay. But anyways, what you wanna do now is find the firmware file for your device. The reason why is because sometimes you get these Knox locked devices where um, they are on the uh, pin code screen. When you're actually using a device, you can set a screen lock and it goes to a pin or a password and you don't know, so you need to reflash it because the recovery in the system, it would not let you, it prevents you from doing that because there's a Knox lock on it. So we need to actually find the firmware. So the way you find that is going into the FRP tool itself. So let's click on this one right here. Hit 
yes and this will come up so I'm just gonna quickly zoom in right now so you can see a couple of things on the screen right now you can see this up here is the Samsung mobile USB modem um, that is basically saying that one device is connected so uh, if you don't see that you can always go into miscellaneous and click install USB uh, Samsung USB driver um, from the actual FRP tool itself if it doesn't work if that doesn't work try and store the uh, Visual C++ 2015 here and that hopefully should work I don't see why it wouldn't and then what you want to actually do is you want to click on disable Nox. now it will come up here if I just uh, go down there there we go it will come up with all of this right so you just want to click exit there and that's the website right there for your specific file now you want to click on that and then it will come up with your web browser of choice so for whatever reason this defaults to internet explorer i really don't know why but literally what you just want to do is when it loads up just copy the link and paste it into your actual desired web page when it loads up and then that will basically come up with the web page from SamFW once again for the flash files for your device now as you can see there's got there's a lot of them that's because this tablet or whatever phone you have or whatever it has had a lot of updates and SamFW provides all those updates or flash files for your device every single one of them so you want to download the latest one if not the latest one you want to download a new one from the one that's already on there if you don't know what Android version your tablet or your phone is running literally just download the latest one or near enough the latest one because that will most likely be more up to date because you cannot flash an older firmware onto your device it wouldn't let you right but I've already got this all downloaded so if I just exit this out and now here's what you want to do exactly so you want to flash your device you want to go to old and flash up here if I just zoom in a bit There we are um, and then you want to take all of this just the first four that will be good and you want to click on open and once you've got your firmware downloaded it will come up as a zip file so you want to actually extract it so I've already found I've already done this so when it says BL you want to look for the BL file when it goes to AP you want to click on AP when you want to well, when it says CP you want to go to CP and CSC you want to click on CSC you don't need to do this data one at the bottom and um, as you can see on the bottom if I just zoom out ever so slightly there you are you can see that it's telling you that you've uh, put those files in don't click any of these where it says check MD5 NAND erase don't click any of that Alright cool, so once you've imported all of these files, you want to actually go back to your phone or tablet and you want to do a few combinations now. So um, you want to turn the device off first of all, power off, uh, I just missed it, power off, power off and you want to get into download mode on your actual device itself. So what you want to do is you want to unplug it, as you can see it goes away from there. You want to hold the volume up and down as you plug the cable in, nothing else. So I'm just pressing those two, plug the cable in, and that will come up right there. So it says warning a custom OS can cause critical problems, blah blah, you don't want to, you don't care. Um, just press volume up, so continue, and this will come up and that will come up there as well so you heard the tone it came up on the tablet the screen will go a bit dim but uh, it's coming it's looking a bit dim on my screen but on the camera it looks fine um, and now what you just want to do is hit flash because if you do this just when it's on the setup screen it wouldn't work it needs to go into download mode as you can see it also says it here as well so you just want to hit flash I've already flashed my device, it's going to take, the flashing process will take around 20 minutes, um, sometimes it's even faster depending on what kind of phone or what kind of tablet you've got. Now once your device has reflashed, it will automatically boot uh, into the setup screen, so because I'm into download mode manually, I'm just going to uh, reboot the device myself, 
Alright cool, once you have finished reflashing your device will boot up, if there's anything in slow charging just hit OK and just so you know this will only work for uh, when it comes to tablets that you want MDM bypass, this will only work for tablets that support the SIM card or um, cellular data connection functions right because it has the emergency dial function on it and that's what's needed. If your tablet doesn't have it you can't do this method right. But anyways, um, once you've got your tablet reflashed and connected, it will come up uh, at the top here as you can see. So the next thing you want to actually do is go into the test mode function at the top and you want to click on disable NOx. And if I do that, if I just go down and tap the tablet, all the information will come up. And this will uh, come up right here. Go to the emergency dialer and press star hash zero star hash. So go onto the tablet and click on emergency dial or call star hash zero uh, star hash and this test mode will come up and now you just want to hit OK and it will say enabling ADB. If this fails, which it has happened multiple times, it will uh, you may have to mess around with it by clicking on it and that will trigger the ADB function from the phone, from the phone or tablet to the connect go to the computer and that will install it for you there we are it says ok so this is what come up allow an uh, USB debugging so you want to go to the tablet here click on always allow click on allow and then it's still running as you can see and then click on allow when it asks you for that then it messes around and there we go and that's basically it it will turn off it will restart there we go it disconnects from the computer itself and as you can see it says the bypass will be removed after factory reset so that basically means um, this is fully bypassed and it bypasses it to skip the setup completely and get you into the home screen so you can start using it like normal but if you reset your phone or tablet it basically goes back to that um, Samsung uh, lock so you're gonna have to redo this method if you want to reuse it right so that's basically how to remove the MDM bypass and here we go it just takes us straight into the lock screen there we are Uh, would it let me in? There we are. Um, that wasn't meant to come up, but for whatever reason it did. And there we go. So as you can see, it's fully functional now. And I can start using it and connect it to the Wi-Fi, put all my accounts on it. Um, it's a bit laggy at the moment because it just got bypassed. There you are. So as you can see, I just put into landscape mode. Everything's fully functional. Everything's all there. So if I go into settings, there for one, there's no Samsung account, and I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. And then if I go into accounts and backup, manage accounts, there's no accounts. So you can fully use this thing as if you bought it brand new. All it is doing is literally just skipping the setup and letting you into the actual tablet itself. So that's basically how to bypass MDM. I will also show you that this isn't fake. Um, Oops, uh, I'm trying to restart the tablet. There we are. Click on, oh, not that one. Restart, restart. There we go. And you can fully disconnect the cable now as well. There you are and starting Android so that is it guys that's how you bypass MDM lock on your Samsung phone or tablet thank you very very much once again for watching this video and I'll see you again in the next lightning quick repairs